Hi, my name is Rakat Chapman. Um, I'm going to talk to my friend Isaiah today. He's also my teammate. Um, I think Isaiah might might have a might be bule might be bulimic, and uh, I think it's because uh, I think he's been wanting to, you know, trim down a little bit, a couple pounds, and gain some of the explosiveness that some of the other point guards in, around our league have. And uh, uh, I think if he he's thinking that if he drops a couple pounds, that he'll have that explosiveness. But you know, he's doing he's going about it the wrong way because I've heard him throwing up in the locker room. I've heard him throwing up after practice. He's also my roommate and I've heard him throwing up uh, in, later at night after dinners. And I've also heard him throwing up, you know, early in the mornings, you know, right, right before breakfast and whatnot. And I just want to, you know, go talk to him and see if I can get him, get him any help and see if we can come up with a solution to, you know, get him to lose, lose some weight, but do it the healthy way and uh, make sure that he, does become more explosive. Well, Isaiah's in this room right here. It's just a little quiet room. It's me and him, and uh, I gotta, I gotta talk to him. See, you know, if we can come up with a solution for the problem at hand, and I uh, uh, see what we can do and to help him out. What up, Zeke? What's up, B? All right, let me get this chair real quick. Anyway, I just want to come talk to you, dog. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm a concerned for you, man. I feel like, I feel like you've been coming home from a, a football facility after dinner, and I feel like you've been walking up in the bathroom and throwing up. And I, I just want to, you know, make sure you know that I'm here for you. You know, I'm concerned for you. Um, yeah, but uh, I actually been kind of feeling sick lately. Um, just my stomach hasn't been feeling very well, so um, I think it's, it's been going on for the last couple of weeks. So. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, 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 that's definitely that's tough. Um, um, you know, it's probably just like some you know, stomach a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I I also think. It's, it might, I don't know if that has nothing to do with this, but uh, I feel like that you've been wanting, you know, talking about getting a little bit more explosive and stuff like that, you know, trying to lose a little weight so you get more explosive. So I just want to, you know, make sure that it, had, it didn't have nothing to do with you trying to get a little bit more explosive, you know, lose a little weight. So you might be throwing these up, you know, so you know, lose some weight. Uh, well, that's definitely my focus is I mean, to get more explosive. So. That's, I'm working on that every day um, in the weight room every day, so um, I can get more explosive for the for the team. And so, um, yeah, I've, I've been trying to keep fit and all that in the weight room and just work on that. Yeah, I just want to make sure you know, that's some concern for you, man. And, you know, just one thing that's you know not good, not gonna help you with you know getting more explosive and stuff. This over the off season is if you know you're coming home, you know you might. You might not want to, might think you ate a little bit, so you don't want too much to dinner, you know, and throw it up uh -huh. because you know you don't want to gain that extra weight. But you know that's not going to help with you, help you with your body. You need the nutrients, you know, uh -huh. to continue to uh, gain. All right, we're here back, and I'm um, just going to give you analysis, you know, on the conversation that me and Isaiah had, and uh, you know, I'm going to figure out a few things and. Uh, um, also, say a couple things I felt like I did good, and a couple things I felt bad. I felt like I did bad, you know. But like what I, what I said and why I said it, and uh, yeah. So first off, you know, I'd like to. He uh, he, uh, I'd like to tell you about how he tried to get me to back off, you know. And uh, for, as soon as the conversation started, um, I confronted him and you know let him know that. I knew that I had heard him throwing up, you know, in the bathroom and stuff. And uh, when he had answered, he said that, you know, that he he tried to play it off a little bit and uh, say that, you know, he felt sick or that uh, he was, he just, it was just because some, some normal stuff. But, uh, you know, it had been going on for so long that I knew, you know, he was, he was, something else was going on. So 
you know, I kept pressing and uh, I finally got finally got them to open up a little bit. Um, you know, uh, I just I, one of the things that I really tried to say a lot was that you know I tried to show them and let them know that I was concerned for them and that uh, I was I was going I was going to be there for you know for him and if he needed anything you know he could call me or if he needed to talk to a, a doctor or, or a therapist I, could, I got the number for that and um you know i just try to really express to him you know that i was concerned for him and that i was there for him and yeah and then uh one of the things i was you know careful not to say was uh i really would try to stay away from uh the you like more you statements like you need to stop doing this and statements like that I and mean, i really try to stay away from those statements i you know i think that's good um uh, one thing i do know i gotta work on too is that uh i gotta get rid of you know <laughs> just i gotta stop saying that uh so much when i when i'm talking but uh other than that um you know it was definitely, it's definitely one thing that I've learned, you know, through this class that that's a really, really hard conversation to have with uh, with someone, you know, that's close to you, especially, you know, being a loved one, a close relative or something like that, you know, to go and confront them like that is, it's, it's not really, it's not an easy thing to do and, uh, uh, you know, I just want to you know let everybody know you know that it's not it's definitely a really hard conversation to have with a if you were to do that with a loved one but um i you know i really feel like what i did the i maybe could have changed a few things you know maybe went into a little bit more depth but you know and uh probably but i probably would have changed a few things too but I mean, that's, I know what I did was right, you know, to go confront him and let him know because, you know, even if, if I don't confront him, maybe he gets a health problem, you know, down the line a little a ways. So, you know, it's a good thing to, you know, try and stop those things before they get too bad. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching.